Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Stoneblock 2. I kind of wanted to record Enigmatica for today, but I logged on to the server, to the server, to the single player world, and I just couldn't do anything. Like I had no motivation to do anything whatsoever. So I'm going to record Stoneblock today because I feel like playing this more than I do Enigmatica 2 because it's an expert pack and things are much difficult and I'm kind of avoiding it, I guess. But I will stream Enigmatica 2 today for possibly more than two hours in the evening and see if I can get some more prog progression done and move on in the pack basically to get a bit, maybe a bit more power or stuff like that. And today I want to work on stone blocks. So I want to show you what I did in between episodes. I did a little bit of mining, so we have a little bit more resources, just a teeny tiny bit. And apparently we're out of power. Oh yeah, right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna explain this in a moment, but we have an insane amount of coal now, so we can just use coal blocks for power. And I forgot I took the charcoal out, and now we have power. Woohoo, do your thing. Okay, sweet. So let me just toss a few of these things away, like so. Put my uh, ridiculous armor back. And I changed the lava production here. We have one crucible making the obsidian, and then one crucible just making lava. So this has 8 million buckets of lava now, which is really cool. So that's just been working really hard. We can also possibly set this guy to pull from the left. And maybe both of them will work. But you can see this one starting to fill up and it can only pull from one side. So it's not really that efficient to pull from there. So it's fine. I'll just leave it be. Okay. For the mop farm, I added witch water. And the way I did that, we have... Uh, that's probably going to get picked up or not. Uh, we have just open fence gates uh, on the bottom and over there in the back. And here just encasing two buckets of witch water that are flowing one from either side. And down here, I added some filtering systems and also some ability to move items around and a drawer system as well. So the absorption hopper picks up stuff and we have a translocator with a glowstone on it, putting it into the small storage crate. And then another translocator putting anything that it can into the drawer controller. Then we have a transfer node here with a, with a mega filter or a master filter as I called it, which has three filters nested inside. Uh, and that extracts everything into the trash can. Uh, so I have to have it on the transfer node because the translocator didn't work on the trash can if I had the filter inside of the trash can. But yeah, this basically filters these three stuff out, or these three, these four types of armor, then this, these, all of these weapons that we get, and also all of the mechanism armors. So that is the armors currently that I, I've gotten from the from the mob farm. So that is what I did. So that works nicely. And with the witch water, we get wither skeletons. Uh, Endermen don't really do anything. We get charge creepers, which don't really change anything as well. But I wanted skeleton to spawn. There it is, wither skeleton. There you go. So from that, we get coal. We get necrotic bones. We get wither skeleton skulls, drops of evil, wither dust, and then the rest of the regular mob drops. We get sugar. Uh, we have redstone. We have a redstone farm and a glowstone farm, basically from witches. Uh, there's also spawns cave spiders or regular spider stirs into cave spiders. I don't know what turns into witches or if the witches just spawn normally, but we have plenty of ender pearls, plenty of coal, so we can just run the base on coal if we wanted to with the mob farm running. That is the thing. There is also loot crates. They changed uh, the or they were, these are a replacement for loot bags. So basically, the common loot crate has all of these rewards and 40 more that you can see. Uh, and then the uncommon has 36 and all of the ones that you can see. And then the then you have a rare, a uh, an epic, and the legendary. So we're just going to open up uh, these three. I have uh, crates dedicated to each cr each loot crate, and I haven't been opening the common ones because you just get random junk. So the epic one, we get extreme vector plates. You can get a, um, a whatchamacallit. Uh, you can get from the legendary, I can show you, but you get the uh, ultimate furnace you could get from this. And the epic ones, we get diamond horse armor, moving wand, ender hoppers, endo flames, compact giants, chance cubes, fast vector plates, and dimensional shards. So that can go all into here. And then these guys, ray loot crate. I'm probably not gonna have space in this chest for all of the stuff. Possibly not, nope. <laughs> okay, uh, so what can we, I mean, we can just grab all of this gold. And what I can just do is toss it in this furnace. We can also take this down because we don't really need that compacting drawer right now. 
and I don't have space in my inventory, but do do your thing. Compacting drawer. And I made some dark stone because I made these quantum entropy accelerators. I could be using these for power. These do like 10 RF per tick uh, every like a couple seconds. So it, you just have to feed it items uh, and it makes power, which is kind of interesting, but it is a thing. Uh, because quantum flux is kind of making a comeback uh, to to Minecraft, so that's really neat. But the emerald ones cannot be smelted to anything, so we can't really reprocess this. But we can we can get uh, we can get some emerald armor if we wanted to. We also get certus quartz. We get empowered diamantine air charms. That's so many of them. Uh, we get diamond backpacks. So I have that now, and I've just been storing items into in here. I've also made a wub hammer when I. Uh, Sifted some gravel. This is a 3x3 three three hammer with 3,000 durability. I have a diamond one here, which also has 3,000 durability, but that will run out soon. So we can grab the chart sort of silicon, resonating redstone. Uh, this iron armor we can smelt down. But basically, I can, I can have this uh, on a drawer system if I wanted to, or I can just uh, reprocess all of the items and grab everything that we want. Because I believe we can we can automate the opening and closing, not closing, but the opening of the crates, probably. Uh, so let me just toss a little bit of this away and get all of this smelted down. And let me grab the stone that I've been smelting, because I have so much charcoal left, so we just have this furnace that can run all of the time, which is really neat. Okay, you do you, and yeah. So for today, I think I want to move, basically, because now we have great wood and silver wood in semi-big quantities. They're still very, very slow, so we might have to set up multiple of these or just grow some great wood saplings once we get enough space to, to do that. So we also have magma saplings that we get from uh, the loot crates, and those we just have insane amounts of magma blocks or magma slime. And why can I not put you back in? Oh, because it's full. I see. Okay. That is fine. Okay, so these are almost getting full. And apparently the magma slimy dirt is the fastest the slime grows on it. So that is really neat. I could probably just turn this guy off because we don't need, we're probably never going to need more slime than what we have. So that is fine. Okay. So I think we want, I want to move and because this is zero zero, I want to keep this as like the community hub because everybody is going to be probably placed around a thousand blocks uh, apart uh, spaced from this. So one, one person is going to be like at a thousand zero and then uh, one at minus one thousand zero and so forth. So I think I want to go in a direction where somebody isn't. So I will probably go into spectator just to see where people are. So I don't really dig into one of those spots. Or maybe just move like 500 blocks away from here uh, in one direction and just build my base over there and make sure to go away. I'm not really sure about that. So I'm going to have a think about it, how I want to do this and how I want to move and where I want to move. And then I'm going to start building on a base. So everything is moved over here in the back. And we have kind of a blank slate to begin building. I think I'm going to go to the top of this ladder and either just vein mine it down I can put on some slime boots and then not take damage uh, because I would like to destroy it. And I don't think the vein miner is going to reach all the way up to the top. So um, yeah, I'll do that in a bit. But I want to use this crafting table because this is the center of the build. That's zero, zero. I want to use this for the center of my base. And we will put a community kind of center somewhere else when we figure out where people are because I don't know how many players uh, played on the server so far or how many patrons played, uh, a few, I think at least three or so, uh, and plenty more will probably play after. So yeah, firstly for building, we're gonna need a bunch of more blocks and I wanna have more stored in my dank null. So we're just gonna upgrade this one to the dank null MK2 and then to the dank null MK3 and the dank null MK4. That's as far as we can go. And this will store a bunch more blocks, I think. I don't know how, how many, and I want to get a few of these organized. So let's just grab some of this stuff out. There we go. We have stone, and then I want to have dirt next, and then gravel, and then we can have andesite or granite. Uh, let's do andesite, granite, diorite. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So I grabbed all the great wood that was in here, almost all of it. Uh, and we're gonna start doing some building. I think I wanna do, do we have the the guide? We do. 
enhanced building guide. We can get this. Does it need to be white glass? No, it's just four glass. So four glass, and then the that's the building guide, and then it's the enhanced. So six, ten glass total. So or are they the upgrade? They're not. They're not upgrading recipes. Okay, I I always forget because I remember from like one point seven, you had the recipes for these. Uh, you had to make uh the basic one first and then the enhanced one, but you can just make the enhanced with some ender pearls. So if I put this, mm, it doesn't really matter if I put it uh, or where I put it because we can just power it from the top. I'll actually take this torch out, which is not gonna be cool, but that's fine. Um, no, let's do this. Let's do it like this, put this, this, actually no. I want the building guide to be here because I just want the shape uh, of the uh, the outside line kind of. I want to get a maybe a circle, maybe a hexagon, something in that sense. So let me grab a lever as well. Hold on. Lever lever. Lever lever. Okay. And we can reach things from here. Okay. So now we need cylinder, cuboid, full cuboid, dome, triangle, pentagon, hexagon, octagon, maybe an octagon and go big or go home. So let me figure out a shape and then I'm just gonna dig it out because that's not gonna take me that long with the super wub hammer that we have with 3000 durability, well, 2800 now, but we can probably dig it out if I get at least a three wide shape. It's probably gonna dig into the mop farm, but this mop farm pretty much done what it needed to do. It got me all the things. Oh, we can also pop off two lo legendary loot crates. Draconian blocks, suck the chance band. That's fine. So yeah, let me get a shape and see how I want it to look. The mop farm is now gone. All that is left is these storage crates that I haven't moved yet and the drawers that are gonna stay in the wall for the time being. But I do have a cylinder now dug out almost. My web hammer ran out of durability. So I wanna get a tinker's hammer so we can have a bit more digging options and that should be good. And it's also gonna level up and get uh, get experience and it can get more modifiers as we go, but I'm gonna grab a tool forge now. I am smelting a bunch of grout so we can get into a smeltery as well, but the hammer I decided to just now make make it uh, silk touch first of all, so we just get stone and I'm gonna put wood on it. So it gets, it's gonna have 965 durability. Uh, do we really want the wood? I don't think so. I was like, we're gonna use the wood, but no, let's just grab another eight obsidian. And we can, we can replace the plates as we go, but this is just gonna give it a bit more durability. So if we do that, yeah, 1000 durability, better. Okay, and it's just gonna be silk touch, three modifiers. It's probably gonna be really, really slow. How are you on speed? Not that bad. So yeah, let me finish digging this out, uh, just so we have a nice starting area for all of our uh, all of our building. And this is also gonna help us get a bunch of stone when we dig with this obsidian hammer. Plus it's repairable with obsidian, which we have tons of. So that should be good. Do you have like a super high? Yes, 4,500. Um, I don't know why they changed it so that uh, you need so many, so much XP to get levels uh, on these tools. We could tweak it in the configs if we wanted to, but I think it's okay. Um, I just don't know why. Okay, let me finish the dig and then we can possibly get around to actually building something that looks nice. So the entire thing is dug out and I'm not gonna start building just yet because we have a bunch of quests that we can collect here. Uh, I did make a tool forge to make the hammer so we can get that reward. It is a garden cloche. Hello, garden cloche. You're gonna grow stuff for me. Hold on, we can actually plop you. You're not gonna get power from this. No, we would need a either a wireless thingy or something, but it's gonna stay there. Enjoy my garden closure. Okay, so then the smeltery, I made all the things that we needed, so that's a flux bore. So much for making the hammer. <laughs> this is probably gonna be much, much faster. And it can do like a five by five. Um, yeah, so much for making the hammer. <laughs> or any ticker's tools. I can just use this if we get power. Uh, if we get flux networks, we can just power this up. So like, I wanted to make a smeltery. I wanted to make uh, a night slime pickaxe, but no, the game says have a flux bore. 
But we can still construct smeltery because we can still use it for some stuff probably. Uh, so what I'll do is over here, I'll actually grab the hammer and we can go, let's say down here in a three by three and grab some seared bricks. Just get that done. Yeah, please don't place torches inside of my smeltery. Mr. I always place torches in your smeltery. So that plus that. And then we need a drain and there's gonna be a restart very soon. So that's fine. So then that, I'm gonna put another drain here. So we need another boop, boop, that. And then we can put a, a tank there, controller here, and the rest we can just cover up in blocks. Wonderful. So that should be a working smeltery and we can add a faucet here, make another faucet. Let's see if I can beat the server restart. Uh, we're gonna add a basin just for just for giggles and a casting table. Nice, uh, and then we just need a bit of lava. So what we can do is, um, oh, this is not full because it, it made the netherrack and now it's filling up slowly, possibly. Or is it still making netherrack? No, it's just filling up. Okay, uh, I needed to make some netherrack because I made some of these, some of these magma slime crystals so we can get an embossment on our tool. Uh, that's kind of what I wanted. So we can put another torch there. That should be good. Wonderful. So yeah, let me wait for the server restart and I'll in the meantime make some night slime, which we can do by melting some cobble. We need some lava. So we need a bucket. Bucket. Uh, we can put the water back for the obsidian. Uh, let's just grab a bucket of lava. Go. Do your thing. Okay, I'll be back shortly. I made the smeltery a little bit bigger and we have a bunch of night slime here that I can just pour out into blocks or ingots if I want to, but I'm gonna keep it in there for a while, uh, at least until we get uh, all our tools sorted, basically. Uh, I can use the flux bore, but we don't have the power to sustain it right now because we only have the two rinky dink uh, coal generators, basically. So I'm still gonna do the whole embossment thing on this and keep this. Uh, as my main tool and I also changed the tool rod to be sponge and then the binding to be wood So it still repairs itself, but now it does mine for example this Very fast and I need to make another compressed hammer for for those so we can just do that real quickly Let's show you how I've been doing that. We just basically take that that and then we can do it like this and then we just do R no Uses, that's what I want. And then another use, boom. Get two compressed hammers, wonderful. Turn all of this into sand, just so we have a bit more. Nice, uh, let's toss the six backs, backs, back. Uh, but yeah, uh, now I want to basically move the rest of this and start building here. I, let me just grab some wood. Because what I have is the idea. Basically the walls here on the diagonal, I think are gonna just stay the same. I don't think I wanna change them that much. Uh, well, the same meaning I won't have any tunnels at least going out of them. I think I want to have a full wood uh, thing pillar in the middle and then we can have another pillar, for example, here in the corner. Like that. And then one over here and that's basically going to be the entryway. So let me just finish this. The entryway to one area. We can put another li uh, layer there. I'm gonna see how, uh, this is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's just gonna be a seven, seven, seven by seven hole. And we could dig this if I set a key here. So we can do a five by five. But this is gonna run out of power very, very soon, I think. Uh, well, not very soon, but semi soon. And I might, might as well use it while we have it. Uh, Cause at least it has a five by five. So, there we go. Um, I'm gonna have to dig this manually because I did it wrong. We're gonna do that. And then dig this manually. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, the idea is four tunnels going into different directions and I can also turn this magnet back on. I was tossing things in front of the, uh, in front of the, 
the atomic reconstructor and the magnet immediately brings the item back to you because it's that amazing. Uh, I love quantum flux magnets, by the way. So yeah, let me do a bit more digging and decide where I want to put some stuff or at least to start putting in some stuff because I want to have this as an open area where people probably will teleport to. I might put a portal, I don't know, in the ceiling and then you drop down from the top, something or another, or I really don't know what we are going to do here. So yeah, just tunnels. I'm going to do a bit of decorating, a bit of designing, just so it, uh, it looks a bit better. And yeah, we're going to show it to you in a bit. I did a bit of mining over here. We have an, a hole and a hole and a hole, three of them. So that is really nice. And we can continue on from here and make some sort of a shape or a tunnel or something or another. I will have a think about how I want to look, how I want to have the base. And I'm going to do that off camera and or in between episodes even. And now I want to just progress a little bit more. We have a few quests that we can collect. I made a sieve so we can just collect that and we get two ender tanks. Okay, I think we got that before. We have a drawer controller. We get 12 epic, epic bacon. We got the storage upgrade tier one. Black lotuses, upgrade tier two. Ender chests, upgrade tier three. Two diamond tier barrel upgrades. And upgrade tier four is an inventory crafting table, which we already have. And then over here by the cows, whoop, not zoom in. We got cow stalls from the loot bags, so we can collect that and get another demonic drum. We can get four basic capacitors. Imaginary time block, that's amazing. It's OP though, and eight black lotuses, and the milk cow I already collected. Uh, and did I get anything else that I collected off camera? I think I got a few, yeah, chicken quests, I collected a few. So I, I got nothing of really interest uh, out of that, but we can toss all of our reward stuff into here. This block, I think it requires 500 RF attack, but if I place it here, you can see this is on pulse mode. And this speeds it up so much that it starts working, even though it's on pulse mode. <laughs> what? That is a weird interaction. But if I take this off, for example, so we don't hear the annoying sounds, uh, and if we grab, for example, some, some cobblestone, put it in the furnace, doing, doing the smeltingness, and it's a bit faster, I think. It's probably draining all of the power from everywhere, but... It is doing it as fast as it possibly can, but this is the speed. Maybe I'm not supplying it enough power. Maybe that's the case. But yeah, once we get 500 RF a tick, we can use this to speed a lot of entity ticks up. I don't know why they want this in the game because it's entirely broken because you can just speed everything up. Uh, it's kind of like the Torturino mod, except this requires power and Torturino is just insanely overpowered. So. I think I won't be using this uh, for anything, at least. So what we'll do is I'll say right now, I will never use this imaginary time block or make an imaginary time block and use it, okay? So we'll do that, bye. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, no op -ness. no OP. So yeah, uh, anything else I wanted to show you? Not necessarily. We have another, let's say eight or so minutes on, on the, the video, uh, we have a full set of diamond armor and pig iron, epic bacon we can eat. Signalum upgraded, phantom collectors, inventory crafting table, I can just eat this for, for saturation, even though it does nothing. And we can also toss that away and that away. Oh, the signalum kit, where are you? Signalum kit, is it here? Ah. Oh, you get them from, from the bags anyway, but, but we have, oh, these are upgraded and that's a conversion kit. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, that is fine. So yeah, uh, let me see what I want to do next. Maybe we will progress a little bit uh, getting towards auto sifting. I would want to, I should have not turned out down my mob farm, but I think we can see where we want to have the mob farm. And I have a little bit of a think on how I want to have the tunnels and how I want to put in machines. Because we can save on a bunch of lag by putting things in compact machines, but then you don't really see the items doing anything. But yeah, let me have a think and I will be back once I'm ready to do some more building or progression or anything. I decided to just complete some more quests. We uh, we completed the hellish one, so we get a biome marker for hell. I would I assume that is the only way to get the hell biome. I assume the nether is disabled then, so you can't really go there. 
But I can make some porcelain dolls, which is gonna complete a quest. And then we can make this porcelain doll. I have everything ready. And then for this one, oh, do we need another word for each one? No, we need an ender pearl for that one. So let's grab an ender pearl. And we need another nether wart, which is gonna be another mushroom over here without the lens. Boom. Put the lens on top. And that. We need end stone. Um, end stone. Haha. -ha. We can also go to the mining dimension or to the to the end quote unquote dimension. I think it's all full of end stone and nothing else. So we get a torch launcher, a cobblestone generator, a double, another two ender chests, another epic set of epic bacon. Here I made the controller slave, which we get another torch launcher, and I also made a medium storage crate, and we get eight black lotuses. Okay, let me clean up my inventory slightly. So let's just toss all of these away. That can go there. Cobblestone generator, torch launcher, ender tanks, epic bacons. I'll keep torch launcher. And then we can put the porcelain clay away and the redstone and the glowstone that we have here. Nice. Okay. So more quests. I made the barrels from Java so we can get an Invar hammer. And then there's an anti-barrel. Hold on. Bar barrel. I didn't see those quests. What is this? This is nether brick, quartz, diamond, and a regular ender chest. Okay. So this diamond... Eight obsidian. Eight. And then we need to smelt six netherrack. Go. So, and then we need da, 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 ender pearl. It's like thinking of everything. So, ender chest is going to be an eye of ender. That. We need a quartz block, which we do have a bit. The nether brick finished. Quartz block. That should be everything. Nice. And then last is the item barrel thingy, which we have here. Will that count? It does. We got it from a loot crate before. So that is neat. More quests. So let's collect this draconium chest. That is an auto smelter, right? That's like a furnace over here. Yeah, yeah that's neat. Okay, I'll keep that there. That's going to charge with 1 million. 256 RF per tech. Okay, do your thing. Charge up. So this we can get two chimes of ender tanks, three hoppers, a garden cloche, uh, another barrel, another inventor hammer, another builder, that's okay, another one of those, and that's all that I can muster for today. So we can toss the builder, the hammers, I can you still use those if I wanted to when the flux board runs out, but I have the 3x3 three three hammer, so I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, hello, Garden Close. Join your friend. There you go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I want to do for power uh, in terms of the entire base. If we want to go for s just one power solution or if we want to do s more po different power solutions, but uh, I'm leaning against doing culinary generators, but I kind of want to do that in Enigmatica 2 as well, so I don't really want to double up on the same thing. But making a food with garden closures is always fun, and uh, setting, up a setting up a system where you can craft that up uh, is really cool. So I might do that. We might look into some sort of different power. Uh, I, You know what I would want to do? The endergenic generator from RF Tools, right? Is, is it ender... We do this guy, Endergenic Generator. You need to power out of Enderpearls. You need at least two generators for this to work, and the setup is relatively complicated. Timing is crucial. You need to time everything properly, and it's really weird. And I don't know how much power you can get from that, but it could be cool to automate because I haven't done it before, so I might have to look into that. But yeah, I think this is going to be it for today. So I want to take off my armor. And then thank you all for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want to play with me on this server. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Uh,